Council, we've just concluded a brief recess that is called for after two and a half hours of the meeting, so we've just had our recess. And Councillor Sprovieri, uh, you had the floor, and I would ask that uh, everyone in the room respect each person when they're speaking, and if you're able to listen, I think that's uh, what we're all doing for each other. Thank you. So in conclusion, Madam Mayor, um, I am, um, uh, I want to say for the benefit of the community, the children, the students, the seniors, the parents, um, it, I, um, I'm going to move the, um, the staff recommendation that, um, uh, that uh, from the planning committee of March 4th. And um, I understand that uh, it's not uh, popular, uh, but given uh, the, uh, the advice we've received from an independent, uh, uh, and my understanding that we have never won an OMB hearing in Brampton since I've been on council, oh, I'm moving on. that. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I'm moving that um, uh, we approve the uh, staff recommendation of the planning committee. Thank you. Uh, Council, I have before me the recommendation from planning, the original recommendation. It's moved by Councillor Sprovieri, seconded by Councillor Moore, and it's that the recommendation of planning design and development number 50-2013 be deleted and the following be approved, and that is as printed in the planning report agenda that you had. There are members of council who now want to speak to the motion. I will ask, uh, John, you've concluded your uh, words and you've moved the motion, thank you. And, oh, my list is changing. Councillor Miles. Oh, uh, thank you, Madam Mayor. Um, just in, in regards to the motion and um, to the people in the audience today, um, I wanted to say to you quite clearly that council understands that you don't want the townhouses. We do understand that. <laughs> understand that. But what you have to understand is at the end of the day, this decision is no longer in our hands. This decision is in the hands of what is called the Ontario Municipal Board. They have totally, they have the authority to overrule any decision that we make. You understand that, right? Right, okay. So, please, please, when you spoke, I listened. Now I'm speaking, I expect the same respect from you. So, we are sitting here today in a position where our staff have said that the application that has been submitted to the municipality is supported by all of the planning principles that we have to consider when we look at an application. They took a look at it and they said it is supportable. Council has to take that into consideration. We can't ignore it. So we heard the public. We knew that this was controversial. So we said, okay, let's get a second opinion. And we went out and we hired a private consultant who's got a very good reputation and we said, Tell us what you think. And he came back and he said to us, I believe that if this goes to the Ontario Municipal Board, that the applicant in the first instance has an application that's supportable, and in the second instance as well. So you're telling us you don't want townhouses. We have all of the experts in planning who are not you and not us telling us as council that if this goes to the Ontario Municipal Board, that the city will lose. So today we're making a decision. Are we going to have 446 townhouses on this site, which is the original application, or are we going to have 330, I'm trying to find it, 333 units, plus a library, plus a seniors center, and a park? So that's our decision, because whether you like it or not, and whether we like it or not, the OMB, it's already there, is going to make the decision. So really, what we're trying to decide today, are you going to have 446, or are you going to have 333? That's what council's deciding on. We know you don't like it, and we know if we have the decision to make, without the fact that there is an appeal body, that, um, that the decision would probably be a different outcome. But 
We've been here for a while. We know the Planning Act. We've listened to our experts. Everybody has told us that this application, when it goes to the Interior Municipal Board, is supported based on all of the things in the under the Planning Act. So you can shake your head if you want, but I'm going to tell you, I know there's a lot of you who want to be candidates in the next election. We know that. And when you're sitting here, you're going to have to take into consideration the same kinds of things that we have to. We don't have ultimate authority as a municipality. We are governed by a Planning Act, a Municipal Act, and an, all kinds of legislation that says to us what we do as a municipality. The province in this case is the ultimate authority, not the city of Brampton. So whether we like it or not, at the end of the day, it's already at the Ontario Municipal Board. So we're trying to make the best decision for you. You may not like that, but we believe that the decision we make today is going to be the best decision for you. So threaten us if you want, but we believe, we believe that at the end of the day, this is the best decision for this municipality because you're going to get less townhouses and you're going to get amenities. That's it, Madam Mayor. Thank you. Speaking to the resolution, Councillor Dillon. Thank you, Madam Mayor. Councillor Miles, this is not an end of the story. I am very disappointed with the decision. Council made a decision that does not respond to the region's concerns. But the fight is not over. OMB will make final decision. I encourage all these agents to show up to the hearing. As counselor, I fought hard to ensure your voice was heard. I will continue to carry on the fight despite council decision. But now I want to know from the staff, from the developer, when they're going to build the library, which year, when they're going to build the senior center, when they're going to build the splash pad. Tell these people when it's going to happen. Ask the city manager to direct the traffic. Hold on, guys. Oh, please. But he was okay. Our, our, one of our recommendations was that the we would uh, get immediately on uh, the request for expression of interest for the delivery of the public park and play facilities and water features and a library with accessory daycare, seniors meeting center, and retail uses to be located on the nor northerly part portion of the site with the construction anticipated to commence in 2013 or 2014 2015 so as part of our commitment here it was to get uh, on the the planning part of it and the uh, rf uh, our expression of interest immediately so that we could deliver it as soon as possible in the same time frame as the commercial and the uh, the residential so it's all coming together at the same time in the next two years next two years thank you very much Thank you, Council. I now have the uh, motion before me. It's moved and seconded. It's as printed in the agenda. All those in favor? Opposed? Thank you. That's carried. Council, I also have a move by Councillor Sprovieri, seconded by Councillor Moore, that the minutes, because we turned down the previous motion, so we have a new motion, that the minutes be received and the recommendations PDD 49 and 51 in the subject minutes be approved. All those in favor? Thank you. That's carried. I want to thank members of council and all uh, persons who spoke about this matter. I believe that uh, a lot of municipalities sometimes uh, let the decisions go to the Ontario Municipal Board and they don't take the leadership in their own community to help define what's best for their own community, Councillor Miles. I think you expressed very well what our options are and the option of no townhouses is not real. It's not real, I don't believe it's real. I believe that today we showed that Brampton is an open and inclusive and accountable city that engages our residents. I wanna thank all the residents who helped constructively raise the level of debate about this planning issue, Councillor Sprovieri, you commented to Mr. Candle, look at what we achieved together, these amenities. All councillors listened to the people, reviewed the staff recommendations, and I want to congratulate everyone for showing principled leadership in casting your votes. City Council is unequivocal 
about doing the right thing for this city, I ask everyone to please let's move forward for an even better city to raise a family, start a business, find a job, and achieve success. Council, we now move to the area of the agenda called public question period. This is an open item where any member who is here may come forward, identify yourself, raise a question about the matter on the agenda, and we will do our best to answer your question this evening or refer the question for a clearer answer if we're not unable to. We're almost done, if you wouldn't just mind, because there are some people coming forward. Hold the handrail. This young man up here, and there's a young man over here, and here's, you know, okay. And this is a 15 minute uh, regarding the item on the agenda. So you're coming forward, so state your name, Mr. Akbar Waris, and you have a question, sir, uh, about uh, the matter this evening. for making up your mind before. It's a flip-flop issue. The, all the councillors flip-flop. Once they voted not in favour, then in favour. We understand that and we'll have an answer on 2014. Secondly, to you, Madam Miles, you said that we threatened. We can threaten all we We never threatened anybody. So that is a correction right there. You might want to look on the video that nobody threatened nobody. Having said that, you did what you had to do. You ne didn't listen to the people. Remember that when you come and ask for our votes. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, who has the question? Yes, this young man. Thank you. My name is uh, Joe Connell. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I live in the area, and uh, I'm not Punjabi. Um, but when I have to make a left turn in this area, I have to wait two or three lights you're gonna put 700 more cars in that little wee postage stamp that you're gonna put these houses in. 700 more cars. When I have to put, wait three lights to make a left, now will I have to give up my job to, make it, to get to work? Because I, the traffic is gonna be so bad, I won't take Father Tobin now. Because you can't drive down Father Tobin from one block, for, for two blocks, from Fern Forest to Dixie takes 20 minutes. Mr. O'Connell, this is question period. Could you phrase that? I'm, my we question is, question. My, yeah, my question is, there is, where are the cars going to go? They're in this plan. There is no parking. A three-story, a three-story apartment building. <laughs> Each townhouse is a, is a three-story apartment building. And is there going to be, is the parking going to be three floors underneath? Are they going to park in the mall instead I, of the stores? No, that's a, that's a valid question. I appreciate you coming forward and asking it. And I'm going to ask the, uh, Mr. Dan Krasuski to respond to you. Is there parking and where are people going to park? Mr. Krasuski. Um, to the mayor and to the resident. Um, the um, the uh, townhouse project uh, has parking on that particular site and it has been submitted in accordance with the, the bylaws of Brampton. So there has, they have not asked for a reduction in parking on the townhouse property. Uh, I'll also just mention that uh, our, our report that went in March did indicate that the uh, traffic generated on this site uh, would be less uh, with the townhouses on this development than if, than if the entire site was commercial, just uh, as information and background. question period. Please just let's have Councillor Moore <coughs> make a comment then we're going to the next question because this is not the portion of the meeting to revisit the matter. It's to ask questions for clarification. Councillor Moore. Thank you. I was going to help the resident form a question and I think the question might be if staff could look at the intersection that you're talking about mm -hmm. to look at the timing of the lights because um, it's, if, it's if not you, the timing I, of the it's no. not the timing of the lights, it's the volume of, of I understand of that, I understand, but there are some timing with the lights that might be able to address that. So if you want to leave the intersection with staff, then they can uh, no. perhaps Deal take with a look at site plan. Plan. Thanks. Okay, thank you. Do we have another question? Or I don't know if you're holding the rail coming safely down or coming to ask a question. Mr. Kemp. Thank you, madam. I have precisely three questions. Okay. One. Time and again, we pointed out the staff has missed one major thing. 
the city is mandated by the province to approve basements as second apartments. What will happen then? Where will those students go? Where will that traffic go? We are not looking at that. We are closing our doors and we say, yes, today's traffic permits 446 homes. I'm sorry, ma'am. We should look that. If the city has to reopen the study again, do that. Okay, let's take that to Mr. Krasuski. Could you just respond to the provincial mandate for permitting accessible units in Brampton's position? Um, to the mayor, to the resident, um, the, um, we are looking at the second unit uh, issue and uh, we've had town hall meetings that occurred last fall and we've also had uh, informal workshops with, with the councillors and our intention is to bring that information back to council at its next workshop and then have a public meeting and come back with our policies. I think what, uh, what we're probably going to see is that when that uh, information comes along, we're not gonna see new, new uh, basement apartments. What we're going to see is a recognition of the basement apartments that are already in the community. So that parking and that traffic is already there. Thank you. Mr. Tanner, you had three questions. Second question is regarding the library. When the same council signed the joint venture with YMCA, didn't we put in a clause that if they don't come, they get kicked out and somebody else comes and sets the library? Why are we looking at charity from somebody else to set a 30,000 square feet library? I do not agree with the expert too, because what was told to us in public meeting was the builder is giving one acre for library, seniors, clubs, splash pad, and daycare. My question also includes daycare. When the city is closing all the daycares, how is the city going to start new daycare from where the funds will come? City through manager through you, respond. Madam Mayor, um, the issue with the, the YMCA is that there is no commitment for them for funding. So until we get that funding commitment from the Y, it's impossible to move forward. So at this point in time, I couldn't with any confidence say when or if the YMCA with a library is going to come. This development application and the opportunity to put the facility on four acres of land, not one, four, um, is an outstanding opportunity that was presented to us and um, otherwise Springdale would not get the enjoyment out of a library that they're now gonna have. A daycare center would be something that would be in the zoning bylaw and it would more likely attract a private user, not a public, uh, and we're not in the business of providing daycare. Okay, Mr. Tan. And uh, lastly, Madam, with one email does not represent 170,000 voters in Ward 9 and 10. There are 20,000 people who signed a petition against it. However, moving forward, politicians sometimes do take bitter decisions. I acknowledge, ma'am. But sometimes they do take bitter decisions to go against province and federal. Mayor of Mississauga is on record that I will not take intensification because it will create a concrete jungle in Mississauga. Sir, kindly let me speak. And here, we are going in the name of intensification, creating concrete jungles. Welcome to the concrete jungle of Brampton. Thank you. I think that we uh, explained the new provincial policy statement requires the growth in Brampton to be 40% inside the existing urban boundary to prevent 100% of the growth on Greenfield. And Brampton is working very hard to meet that standard. We must, it's the law. Mr. Tint. Thank you, Madam. My question is to uh, my original councillor, Gail Miles. She said, we know the planning now. And March 4th, what they done? Everybody against that one. Only from March to April, they learn it's going to be uh, passed. What is the stand on that day? What is the standard today? It's a waste of Bramptonian's time. We came uh, to tell you again and again, three, four times, and today, they're saying, no, we know that, what is that? Why is not on March 4th, these seven councillors who are unanimously reject that one, today what happened? Mr. Tind, I'm very proud to lead a council that as new information comes forward, that that's taken into account. And that's what has occurred, and you heard the report this that, evening. That's that what was the, requested. That's what, why are wasting our time? Our Bramptonians, they are working, they are coming here because of you already, they already say no. Today, all the council say yes. What kind of uh, things are going on? What kind of we can believe on you guys? Well, I think it's very 
admiral when Thank people you. get new information Listen that they list, listen, they listen to everyone, and they make the decision they feel is best for Brampton. And I believe that's what this council and each member did this evening. That's that's our democratic process. Mr. Gupta. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Madam Mayor, for the opportunity. Uh, my question is regarding the so-called independent expert report. How much money did the city spend on that report? And secondly, how many days or months did he work on that? Because the city staff took 14 months after the January 2012 meeting till March to present a report. And let's see how what magic wand does this independent <laughs> expert has to bring a report which we all are, you know. Thank you. Please, please, could we uh, allow Mr. Gupta to ask his question and then we will answer the question. Perhaps, Mr. Corbett, you could tell us the average cost of an OMB here and you, maybe you could use the Heart Lake Condo as an example and as I'm compared not asking to the cost of uh, whatever that is for this. I'm not asking the OMB cost, I'm just asking his cost, whether he has voluntarily yeah, I, I given the report. That. I or he has that. been paid, and that to tax dollars, you know. Yes. Yeah, that's what I'm asking for. Sir, you, Madam Mayor, um, the final cost of that study is not complete because obviously we're just finalizing that work with him now. Uh, but a, a, a report of this nature can generally cost somewhere between thirty and fifty thousand in general terms. Sure. However, hey, hey, hey. however, a OMB hearing costs far more. It can cost upwards of a million dollars if it's a prolonged with many experts. So uh, it is not unusual for a municipality to take the steps that we did okay. in retaining this expert. And how many days did he took to prepare that report, which the staff took 14 months? Uh, Through you, Madam Mayor, it, would, it would took approximately, I believe, Mr. Kruzinski, three weeks, three or four weeks? Yeah, two, exactly, okay. four, yeah. 14 days. Um, to the mayor, to uh, so That's a to good the profession to be in. Yeah. Yeah. You, don't don't need 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 you, you don't know nothing. We are paying. This report would have to be prepared because this matter is at the OMB. It is not decided tonight. It's already Man. at the Ontario Municipal Board. So we have to have the expert opinion in preparation for participating in the OMB because that's where the next step is. This is not decided tonight. We, what we've been provided is the council position for the OMB process to proceed. Thank you. Thank you. Madam, so we have to do that anyway. Uh, don't worry for lawyer and, uh, and OMB. I pay the money OMB, no problem. Don't worry. You pay the garbage for money, 30,000. No, you don't. No, we don't. Care. You don't, you don't well, want I, to do that. Don't worry. Well, I, I, that's the benefit, and that is manipulating. I, I'm going to, excuse me, I'm going to recognize this young man who's now in front of the podium. No, Would you have a question? My name is Paramji Singh Birdi. I have mentioned in my report when I was uh, here as a delegate, yes. I explained about uh, one data, it is called secondary plan number 28, housing mix percentage ranges by sub areas. And here in this, in this report, your, somebody in this room said that this is very, uh, very intelligent report and a very good report. I want to ask who make this, uh, this report. In your secondary plan, the same data is there with the date November 2010. And the city, in city staff report, this paper is there with the date is uh, the 2013-02-12. How this date can be changed when the same data is there in the secondary plan? This is a this is a, this is a very good report. This is a very intelligent report. I have a big question for that. So if you can answer, then I have question. next question. Do you know which report he's referring to? Dan, do you know which report he's referring to? So this is the same report. report. Check your secondary plan here. You can get it right away. Check this is data is different or this is new? Um, to the mayor, to to the resident, uh, the report that the resident is speaking about is the report that went to the March fourth uh, okay. planning committee. All right. But this is what is there is candy plan November 2010. Yes. And how this report is very intelligent report. This is misleading information in the in the report. Okay. Thank you. You don't want to uh, do, don't want to answer. I know that. Why don't you want to answer? Well, Next we question. Ask, I have I have one more ask question. For an answer. I have one more question. In this recommendation report is written somewhere actually a library designation exists in the secondary plan on this site. What the meaning of this wording? 
What is the meaning? Can somebody explain me? Can you scan? Through the, through the this is there on D115. I can tell you the page. D115, you have, you have this wording on this. Yeah. The, um, the um, uh, designation on the secondary plan is just that. We have, as, as Mr. Corbett mentioned earlier, we have a, an official plan that uh, um, lays out the, uh, the general designations. As we f focus in on the planning, we have a secondary plan. And at the time that secondary plan was created, which was back in 1988-89, uh, it was determined that there would be a library in this vicinity. And this was the site that it uh, actually landed on. That's, there, that's the simple answer to that question. Okay, Th then this is a favor from the developer that we are getting library here? Um, yes. Through the, through the mayor to the resident, I think as it has, has been expressed, uh, and, and one of the reasons why this project has taken a long time for the, um, the, the planners to come back was we were trying to look for that community benefit that we heard over and over again at the uh, various public meetings when we had lots of people. And what we determined was to provide that community benefit uh, was to go back to the, the type of things that would be of a uh, benefit to the community. And a library certainly was one of them. A library and a park and the seniors um, center, that was part of our discussions and part of why this project has taken a while to get back in front of the residents. But as, uh, as we've heard, we're getting an acre of land that is not required to be given to us, and we're getting $300,000 that's going towards the library uh, fit up, which again is above and beyond the requirements that we can ask for through the planning act. Okay. We are not satisfied, but still we, we will get your answer. Okay, other one is, the final one is, so many people saying that the traffic issue is not a new issue, it's already there. Mr. Cullen said that is going on from last time, 1971. And uh, Mr. Expert, he said that this is not an, not an issue. Let me tell you what I, have, what I have written in this recommendation report. I just read the same wording, I'm not saying from my, my side anything. It is written on D113. Uh, with respect to traffic Im impacts, an analysis has determined that the development of townhouses on a portion of subject property will have less an impact of traffic during peak periods than if the site were to be developed entirely for commercial. This is one statement. Second statement saying, with the same problem, the same issue, they have some, uh, some more. Let me find out where. Second one is, this recommendation will reduce the number of townhouses and the reduction of townhouses will decrease the number of vehicle trips generated from overall development. This is second statement. Third statement on D145. The development of townhouses on a portion of subject land will not be significantly different from the traffic that would otherwise be generated by developing the subject property for entire commercial. Which one you voted for? Which statement you voted for? This is my question. Thank you. The recommendation that was approved includes the retail commercial the residential and the amenities. That's what the council who voted in favor voted for. Then, and then is this a uh, very intelligent report? We have self-contradictory statements in there. Well, I don't. I didn't find it contradictory. No, personally. Thank this you. is not good, Madam Mayor. This is not good. You are cheating the people. This is not good. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I, Mr. Graywall. We have one or two more because yeah. question period is sort of over, but uh, we don't want to cut anybody off. Welcome. Thank you, Madam Mayor. My question is to Regional Councillor Gail Miles, John Superbury, and to all the councillors that who are really concerned about the library. My question is, why can't we build a library in the commercial plaza? I have seen libraries in many, many commercial plazas. In the basements, there are big libraries there. Why can't we build a senior room in the commercial plaza? In the basement, I have seen in many malls that there is a rooms for the community use and there are room for the seniors and there are room for other activities. If we're concerned about the park, why can't we build amusement park like one we have in the Woodbine Center there where our kids, our families can go there and enjoy it together? That is my question. If I, you, if you are really concerned about these three issues, why can't we achieve these three issues through a commercial plaza? Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Graywall. I just have to say that. 
Mr. Graywall, you had asked how perhaps we could look at these different uh, arrangements, and I just asked the city manager, and he's assured me, so I want to make sure all of council hears that all of that can be taken into account at the site plan stage of how this entire property is organized. So thank you. That was good input. Thank you. Yes, sir. Madam Mayor, my name is Nirmal Sandhu, and I'm asking a question. Uh, you visit uh, China, India, and uh, you encourage the people to uh, come in uh, Brampton and uh, doing a business. You have any land uh, some, somewhere uh, in uh, doing a business? My cousin and my colleague and my brothers come in here. Do you have any land? Well, thank you for that question. It's not on tonight's agenda, but if you would like to call our Office of Economic Development, we can certainly help point out the over 3,000 acres of land that are available for uh, employment lands presently in the city of Brampton. Uh, uh, please tell me which side I have it. Are, well, there's, they're all over the city. All, so of, ci all, all of city. All of city. And, uh, yeah. and I'm asking uh, uh, other councillor member, you are right that day or Today's, if, if they not a, uh, um, if they not a listen a public, why you uh, why you say public meeting? If you decided, you decided. Why you wasting a time? All people. Well, I, I think uh, all all people against uh, this development, and you are favoring uh, this development. Why you people come in here? We are hungry after that, you guys eating pizza. Th thank thank you for your questions. And, 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 I, I, and I'm asking, uh, I, and I'm asking, Councillor, if Bramley and Sanderwood, if a flat of tires, you have a choice, you will take a taxi because I'm paid to dollar tax. Let because not, not have a, I have a, any grass in a five, six, seven kilometers area. So your question is? Question is, is, is it not a development in a, in a home? Development and the people's needed. What's the needed? So your question is, how did council vote uh, ahead of time? They did not, sir. They voted tonight when you saw council vote in the public transparently. No, I, I, I'm, I'm saying if, if you are decided, you listen to public. Public against it is 90%. Why do you not listen in the public? I think we all listened in the public through several no, meetings. No, no, not listen. If, 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 if I'm, I'm choose a mayor, councillor, by self in a Brampton, I pay to, I pay to uh, uh, taxpayers. And why you, uh, why you worry about OMB? I'm, I'm, a, uh, I'm a face after OMB. But your decision is not, uh, everybody councillor said OMB, OMB. OMB reject this plan. I don't care. If you are reject a plan, I have a cares. That's right. So you ask why councillor mentions. Uh, if I'm, uh, if I come to ho hope, uh, uh, Madam Mayor, if I come to hope, uh, Madam Mayor, I'm not choose my own own mayors. I'm not going to vote on mayors. I'm not councillor on to my mayor, uh, uh, regional councillor. I give to vote you guys. If you, if, if you uh, not give me certified, I'm thinking about. Thank you. Thank you. I think there was a question there. We have uh, two more, and then I'm going to end question period because uh, it's normally a 15-minute process, and I want to make sure everyone has a chance. But we have taken the decision, and it's uh, time to make clarifications on the matter on the agenda. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you, Madam Mayor. My name is Praminda Graywall, uh, yes. a resident of One Man All Crescent. Uh, so I just actually have a comment and a question. The comment is uh, about uh, Councillor Miles' uh, comment. Uh, uh, comment. The, con uh, the comment is, council, if council have supported today, it would have actually strengthened the people's voice at OMB. And that's my belief. And that's why people were here, that so they can be heard, and that the council would actually support people's decision so when they face the OMB tomorrow, or whenever the, the mediation or the hearing is, that the OMB will actually see that it's not just the people, the residents, it's also the council that's actually concerned right. about the change. And, and you felt and that secondly, a And secondly, sorry, secondly to the, Bram to the council, um, Brampton Council and staff, what kind of message are we sending to the international investors with today's decision that Brampton is trying to lure 
to invest in Brampton to create jobs when Council put it decided to slash jobs with this decision? That's my question to the Council. I think there are many jobs protected on the retail commercial area that's been protected. Tonight we protected retail commercial, we protected jobs. We allowed community amenities and a much reduction in the number of residential which was what was sought. But the question Thank is you. the original plan had a bigger scale of jobs, well, and now we have limited Arminder, scale I'm, of jobs. I'm not a gambler, so no. going down to the Ontario Municipal Board, because it's easier to say yes to everybody, knowing with the independent advice that we lose it all. I'm sorry, it's leadership at this council that has to say what's in the best interest of all members of this community. I totally agree with what you're saying, but at the same time, that's why all the residents today here yes. in the past meetings shown up in a larger numbers yes. because they wanted the council support behind them so they can face the OMB and change their decision and Thank show you. that they're actually serious about change. Thank and you, and if the council had supported the residents of Brampton and the people who have actually gathered here today and in the past meetings might have been a path for a change in OMB. Thank you. Thank you. Do we have one more question? One more question, Thank Madam. Thank you, Mr. Wars. Uh, Madam Mayor, this is going to the OMB. It is at the OMB presently. Yes. That's right. You already voted in favor, by you I mean all of you. Uh, the position of Brampton yes. Council is to accept the revised proposal. Yes. Yes. Who represents us against the builders at OMB? Well, honestly, who represents us? As we put our trust in you guys, that you will represent us, but you forsake us. Um, Thank you. Through Madam Mayor, I think um, you were told earlier in the presentation from Mr. Given that planning staff and council and trust the recommendations of planning staff have to provide expert testimony at the OMB. It's their professional reputations at stake. They have to uh, swear an oath and provide detailed defensible uh, analysis at the Ontario Municipal Board. And that's how we, uh, uh, we balance community input with the technical analysis and come up with a recommendation that's defensible at the OMB. Okay, Mr. Wars, so, does that answer your question? It, yes, it does. So the, what you are trying to tell me and my people, um, by my people, I mean Bramptonians We're in general. We're all one family here. They're not yes, madam, I was all, all right. one family. Madam, you didn't let me finish. You jumped to conclusion. I said, by my people, I mean all Bramptonians. Good. Please let me finish. Good. I would appreciate it. Thank you. But, uh, you say that the expert you have hired, the visit of Oz, and you'll be paying him or that firm our tax dollars, and let me finish, sir. And from property tax to all taxes that city is involved with would get raised, but your pay scales will go up and perks will go up and you are not answerable to anybody, we are catching up. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Wars. Do we have another question? Hi, ma'am. Uh, my question is very simple. I would like to know, after where, that why that area is treated like a third world country? What area? Bavade and uh, Bramley and Sandalwood. Well, I, di I disagree, sir. I believe that all of Brampton is uh, treated the same equally. Because city, city have uh, any master plan, right? What the builder says, oh, here he forgot to, um, uh, forgot to make a, a, a library. Now they are changed and uh, they are willing to make a uh, townhouse over there. That means it is a third world country. There is no plans, no future action, just whatever builders say, city working like that. I don't think townhouses represent third world countries, sir. I think I'm very proud that Brampton has a range of housing in various sizes and various affordability ranges. and. This application happens to be townhouses, and there are about 1,500 townhouses in the area currently within a uh, short walk. Distance. I'm not agreeing. You know, like it's well, a 50 50, you okay. can say it that but way or this way. Part right? of, that's part of democracy, sir. We, we can agree to disagree, but we're going to walk out this door. We're going to continue to build the best brand that we can all together. That's but, what we but do. But you guys have to think about the people too. I assure you, we have thought long enough. I don't I think so, ma'am. Right. Thank you. Yeah, right. Okay. Maybe we will change. Thank you. I think, Council, we're coming to the conclusion. Sir, did you want to be our last question? Yes, my so, last question, okay. because uh, you know, see the here is 100 people, 200 people. Now it's all Brampton G watching the Roser Cable, number 10 channel. Yes. 
all people be watching all GTA. Yes. yes. Those ones, how much is spent the money for builder? Because you know, he's the this city is making builder know you. City already, I think, because uh, fifteen day he's changed uh, everything. I know and you know how much is money builder spend the money here. And your I, question is, sir? Yes, yeah, that's what I tell him. Thank Next you. year, 2014, I hope change everything. Thank you. Thank you. Count, okay, council, I have a motion by Councillor Moore and Councillor Sprovieri that the following bylaw before council at its special meeting be given the required number of readings. All those in favor? Thank you, that's carried. Uh, council, I now have a motion for adjournment. It's moved by Councillor Gibson and Councillor Moore. And we meet next at the regular council meeting of Wednesday, April 24 at 1 p.m. noon, 12 noon, 1 p.m. or at the call of the mayor. All those in favor? So carried. Council, we now adjourn the meeting and I want to thank everyone again. I want to thank everyone again for their participation. Thank you. This is my tax money. You're waiting pizza over there.